Okay guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to do an offset, shadow, just an text outline basically from the app on your phone. I know some people like using strictly their phone for editing and stuff. Um, and if you're one of those people or if you're on the go and you need to make something real quick, then this is going to be a good tutorial for you guys. So first, you are going to need to download this app right here in the top left corner called Fonto. You can find it right on the App Store and it is completely free. So you are going to download that. Um, I think I do have the free version though because I don't have ads. So I believe um, I paid for mine. I think it was like 99 cents or something like that. Because uh, I use it a lot and the ads are annoying. But you don't have to buy it. Um, yeah, so you're just going to click on that. And it's going to look just like this when you open it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom and you are going to hit the camera button. And it's going to bring up this menu here. And you are going to hit the one called plain images. And then this is just the templates they have for plain images. We don't need any of those. So we're just going to hit the plain white one in the top far right corner. And then here, you don't have to change anything. You're just going to hit the share button in the top right corner. And you're going to click use. So now we have our template, our background, and we are ready to go. So what you're going to do is you are going to just tap on the image. And it's going to ask you to add text. And you're going to click on that. And now you're going to just type whatever you want. I'm just going to type hello and we're going to hit done. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the color because clearly we cannot see that. To change the color, once you tap on the text, what you're going to do is you're going to hit style. And it's going to bring this screen up and right here, you just select whatever color you want. I'm just going to make it black, basic, and then we're going to hit done. Okay, now back to the basics. Now, as you guys can see, I do have um, a special font. You will not get all these fonts in it. So if you click font here, these are all of my fonts, but yours will not come with that. You will have to download them. Um, and I can show you guys how to do that real quick if you guys want a certain font that you like this is hello and well no this is autumn and november but now what we're going to do is we are going to exit out of this and we're going to go to the internet and i already have mine popped up you're going to go to thefont.com you're going to find whatever font you want i'm going to download this one that says shorelines so all you want to do is find the font you want and you are going to hit the download button and you're going to hit download again. Once it finishes downloading, it's going to be this arrow in the top right corner. You are going to just click that. And then you're going to click on the shorelines. And it's going to bring you to your download folder. Now, see what you're going to find, whatever font you download it. So I download shoreline, so I'm going to tap it so it could zip, unzip it. And then we're going to open that folder. And you're just going to find the font. Mine is right here. Mine is this white one right here. So we are going to click that. And then we're going to go to the share button in the bottom left corner. And then we're going to scroll all the way over to more. And we're going to hit copy to Fonto. Then this is going to pop up and you're just going to hit install. And it says now your... Um, font was installed successfully. So we're gonna hit OK. And now if I hit the text again and I hit font, if I go to my fonts on the bottom, you will see the sure lines is installed. Um, but I want to use Autumn and November. This is I always use this font. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to save this image right here. So we're gonna go down to the bottom right corner. 
and we're going to hit the share button and you're going to just save image i try to save it as a png but it never works so just hit save image and now we are going to do the offset so you're going to touch the image again and it's going to bring up this menu and we're going to go over and we're going to hit style and now you have this row here that says text stroke and background we're going to hit the one that says stroke and when you hit that we're going to select a color as well because you want to be able to see your stroke so i'm going to do red just because it's vibrant and you guys can see and as you can see it automatically adds a little border to your text and if you go to the bottom where it says width you could slide this and make it as big as you want so i like to do mine so like all the center holes are filled like in the hello the in the um h l and the o you see how that white part closes up that's how i like to do mine you can make it as big as you want but this is how i like mine so once you get it to the size that you want your outline, you're going to go on the top right and you're going to hit done. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the bottom right and we're going to hit the share button again. And we are going to save the image again. And now we're going to get out of this and we are going to go to Cricut Design. So you're just going to open that up. We're going to go to new project, replace and you're gonna go down to the bottom where it says upload and select photo from a library and go to your photos and you're gonna as you can see i already practice um so we're gonna just hit the photo we just used and now we just need to clean it up and get rid of all the white background so you're gonna click the button in the bottom left that says remove and just delete all the whites don't forget the pieces inside the text all the loops and as you can see in the top right corner it shows you how it's going to look so you can see if you missed anything we have everything so then you're going to hit next Next again, you have to name it. We're going to do hello. And it's going to be a cut image. We don't need a print and cut. And then you're going to save that. And now what you're going to do is you are going to do the same thing again. We're going to hit upload. Select from photo library. And we're going to select the one with the red outline. And we're going to do the same thing. Bottom left, hit remove. And this one we should only have to do once since we um, filled in all the little holes in the H, L's, and O's, the loops. Make sure it looks good. We're going to hit next. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to hit next again. You're going to name it. We're going to name it the same. Hello. And now we are going to select both of our files and we're going to hit insert. And then we are going to zoom out. And we're going to leave the back one black. Or you could change it to whatever color you want. But we're going to change the top one. So you're going to go select it. Go to edit. Where it says cut. We're going to select that black dot. And we're going to just make it this pretty pink coral color. And then you are just going to place it on top. And that's literally it. We're going to make it smaller, so to show you guys that it actually works. And here you go. Now you have your offset and your outline of your text. And if you go to make it, so now I just resized it so I can show you guys how to cut, how the um, actual cut files will look. If you go here, as you can see, you're going to have two mats. So you click the icon in the top left corner. It'll show you your layers. You're going to have your background, your shadow layer, and you're going to have your actual font layer. And that's basically how you do it. I hope this helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see other tutorials, let me know and I will let you let me know what you want to see and I will try to make them for you guys. 
again thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video